Hello everyone, I'm George from Ireland. So here I am on Holland Street in London, uh, in this area called Holland Park, which is a very plush area. And uh, well, why do I keep filming in such areas? Because famous people tended to be wealthy and live in expensive areas, or areas that subsequently became pricey. Anyway, behind me is the house of Radcliffe Hall, uh, who is best known for writing The Well of Loneliness. They should write a number of other novels. And um, it's one of the first lesbian novels ever written. So, um, she was born in um, uh, Bournemouth in 1880 into an upper middle class family. Her father was a womanizer, she didn't have a close relationship with him. Her mother seems to have some sort of personality disorder. So, um, anyway, uh, she was a clever sort, never remotely interested in boys, not that uh, into clothes. It's a bit of a tomboy herself, not as masculine as, as you might imagine, I suppose. She wouldn't be considered a, a particularly butch lesbian these days, I don't think, from the photos of her, what little I know about her. Um, Anyway, she moved to London, but she also went abroad a lot, um, and she, uh, in her youth, she'd had relationships with various women her own age, but one by one they all, they all fell by the wayside and married men. The idea of same-sex marriage then was obviously just unheard of. Even, even the most radical members of the gay community wouldn't say that. Now, contrary to popular, popular, popular belief, lesbian actually, lesbianism actually was illegal in this country, um, but uh, only after 1919. Uh, it was only banned just after the First World War. I think they were concerned because so many um, young men had been killed. Some of these young win widows or women who never married would take up with, um, with, with other women. Although, having said that, I'm not aware of any prosecutions for it. Society seemed to be much less exercised by that than the possibility of um, male homosexuality. Um, so she so was sort of middle age before um, uh, same-sex relations between women were, were forbidden. Um, but uh, anyway, there was there was scarcely ever mentioned. She, she realised as an adolescent that her desire was for her own uh, her own gender. Um, anyway, so then she moved to Germany, and when she was 27, she began a relationship with a German woman who was 51, who was married, who had an adult daughter, who even had grandchildren. But they were that, that satisfied for a while, but then she fell in love with this woman's cousin, female cousin, of course, and that was that. And eventually she completely split up with her German girlfriend. So she came back here and made a living as a writer. The Well of Loneliness um, is, well, just about that theme, what it is to be a lesbian, to think that you're the uh, only one who's like this, to struggle with that solitude and then um, try to find others of, of a like mind and have to be a little bit discreet about it because they think it was a, a mental disorder, it was depraved or things like that. And another thing about Radcliffe Hall is she was an ardent Christian and she hoped that this wasn't incompatible with her faith. Uh, and uh, there was obviously nothing in the Bible to forbid it, whereas there was for male homosexuality. But it's one of the reasons why male homosexuality was so much more severely uh, penalised. Um, uh, anyway, and then uh, some people uh, satirised her. However, her novel, in her novel, The Well of Loneliness, the bedroom door stays very firmly shut. Nevertheless, it was forbidden as an obscene work in this country uh, for a few decades. Um, and uh, people then drew a f picture of her nailed to the cross as though she'd suffered very much for it, but she was horrified that she was associated with something which is ridiculing Christianity. She had this rather um, androgynous Christian name, Radcliffe. I wonder if that uh, explained her orientation at all. Most people think it's genetic, not environmental. So she died in 1943, um, so fairly well known at the time. And uh, you have to look back to her because it's the first uh, lesbian novel. I'm told it's by no means the best, but uh, I don't know anything about this genre. So that's enough about Radcliffe Hall. Toodaloo.